today I am here with three unbaggings, unboxings, uh, of mystery items. They're no longer a mystery to me, but, the, I, but where these came from is a mystery because these are three items that I never ordered or requested from any of the companies that I work with. They're not diamond, well, this one is for sure, uh, one that I would order myself, but I didn't order it. And so I am just at a loss as to where these came from. Nonetheless, I added them to my inventory. They are 590, 591, and 592. Uh, I did open them all because I had to identify what they were. Uh, because unlike all of my other diamond paintings that I keep an inventory for, when I get one of these, like when I, un when I open the bag, the big bag that they're in and check this, I can use the SKU number here to find the item in my inventory. Um, but since these were not ones that I ever ordered, I had not recorded the SKU numbers for them. So I was, it was like opening a gift from a secret Santa and I had no idea how these got to me. Uh, I got in touch with the two companies that, well, you know what, let's get into opening it. And then I will, uh, I'll tell the story of, of my sleuthing. So when I got this, I first tra checked the tracking number on the package before I opened it, because I always want to know, oh, whose package am I opening? And I didn't have that tracking number. And I thought that's okay because some of the companies that I'm working with, um, because I don't order through their website, I don't get necessarily all the same correspondence that you guys would get if you were ordering through their website. I just deal directly with one of my contacts there and, um, and tell them what I want and they send it to me. Okay, so this one here, uh, I call the Serenity Prayer. I think everybody calls it the Serenity Prayer. And it, I would never order it uh, because it's a word diamond painting. And I've always been nervous about ordering words because what if they don't turn out? But the lovely thing about getting this as a mystery is that somebody else decided for me and sent it to me and look, it seems to turn out really well. I don't know what you see through the camera because the camera's up too high, but this actually looks good to me. Um, so let me let me just straighten it out a little bit. I will be ironing this probably later today because I'm doing another installment. I've done two installments, published one of them in my ironing and stash review series. And I'm gonna continue with the third video in that series, I'll, I'll record it uh, later today. I might even record two later today. Uh, I'll, like I'm aiming to have them about an hour long. Anyway, um, so I'll just sort of leave this on the screen. Uh, and you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna talk through showing you the legend and the drill area and all of that stuff uh, while I tell you the story of you know what I've done and all of that stuff to track down the uh, whoever it was that sent this to me. All right, I'm gonna blow this up a little bit to one X. So not a lot of colors, just 14 colors. That's fine, I don't care. Um, so I can't remember where I was at in the story. But uh, so I checked, I didn't have the SKU numbers because I had not ordered this thing and I didn't have the tracking number and I'm gonna do a tracking number video so that uh, like a tracking app video so that you can see the tracking app that I use to keep track of where my packages are and you know helps me to plan what I'm gonna show on my channel next anyway uh, so then I went and started examining the mailing label because um, I thought maybe I can tell from the mailing label. The only thing I could tell from the mailing label was that it was using an address that I had given to two of the companies that I work with. 
Well, actually, I gave it to one of the companies that I work with. I gave it to uh, New Homey, right? Uh, I went in and changed my address in New Homey. And um, I, I think that some of the China Terra companies might share the same information. I don't know, because I just remember that when, um, I think it was FG Normal, when FG Normal contacted me to ask me, yeah, it was FG Normal, when they contacted me to ask if I would like to um, make some videos for them, you know, select some products from their store and make some videos for them, I said, yeah, I'd, I'd love to, you know, like, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to just go in and pick the video, uh, pick the, uh, the diamond paintings and send you my address? Or do you want me to go in and pick the diamond paintings? Or do you want me to send you my address and you pick three diamond paintings for, for me? And they said, just pick three diamond paintings. We already have your address. And I thought, that's interesting because I've never ordered from FG Normal. So I figured that they're all connected somehow. Um, and do I care? Not really. Um, and so, like, do I care that they are sharing my address? Not really, because it means I need to type it into one less place. But then when I started getting stuff, I started getting it with the address formatted exactly the same way as the address that I had sent to, um, that I was using with New Homey. Um, so... Um, I thought, okay, so I've kind of, and then I went in and for the three diamond paintings, uh, when I, you know, was able to find them, I looked for them on both FG Normal and New Homey websites to see, do they actually sell them? Because if they actually sell them, then these are possible sources of this package. And sure enough, both of them sold them. So I sent both of them an email and said, I got this mystery package. Here are the three diamond paintings that are in it. Here's the track, the order number that is your order number to, you know, whoever produces these for you. Um, and, you know, can you tell me if you sent them? Because I'm gonna be doing an unboxing video at some point, and I'd like to be able to, I'd like to be able to uh, thank the company that actually sent them to me. So uh, I got an email from FG Normal almost immediately and they said, nope, I can tell you for sure we did not send that to you. And it was like, okay, fine. So I thought, okay, so this is Kevin at New Homey who sent it to me. So I sent Kevin an email and, uh, and he also got back to me and he said, no, we haven't sent that yet. But I think, I think he misunderstood my email. I think he because I send him, like every week or so, I send him a list of diamond paintings that I'd like him to send me. And, um, and so I think when he saw the list of diamond paintings, he thought this was another list that I was sending because I wanted him to send them to me. And, um, and so the next email I got from him was saying, okay, I've put together an order for you, here it is. And I wrote him back like, no, thank you, like please cancel that order because that's not what I was writing about. And then I thought at that point, I it's clearly not Kevin that sent these to me either. So I have no idea who sent me these diamond paintings. Um, and so now what I'm starting to think, and I'm gonna bring you down so that we can do a drill review now. So now what I'm starting to think is maybe these are diamond paintings that, oh, and I haven't shown you the kit. Let's take a look at the kit. Uh, standard kit, but it's got a straightener in it, so that's good. Um, I was thinking maybe these are diamond paintings from one of those companies that another YouTuber had sent them an email saying, you know, please send me these three. And, you know, they got their emails confused or something, and instead of it going to the YouTuber it was meant for, it came to me. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, but, you know, this mystery is going to bother me forever because I, I don't know who to thank for this. But anyway, so 14 colors on the legend and I have 14 colors here. And let's get into the drill review because I'm pretty much at the end of my story. So um, 
This is blue stripe packaging, and as you saw when I was showing you the legend, the DMC numbers are on the legend, and they're also on the um, bag of drills. And for those of you who were not looking at the screen while I was showing the canvas, uh, what this says is, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. So, I mean, it's not something I would ever have ordered, but I like it. I've always liked the serenity prayer. So it's um, so it's a nice to have. It's, it, whoever got it for me, you it was a winner. Um, okay, so uh, lots of 310s. And that would be for the writing. And um, then we got some four thirds. Well, let's take a look at the back and let me let me get back to a more normal rose shows you the diamonds thing. And so for that, I better blow, blow this up. Um, and just because of the way the sun is shining, because it is a brilliant, bright, sunny day here, but I can't see because it's so bright. So I'm going to turn on the light just to see whether that helps me at all. I know it, it sounds weird, doesn't it? Um, but these, I, I don't expect that I'm gonna find anything wrong with any of these drills. They're really, they're good. The, the canvas is perfect. Like apart from the mail increases, the canvas is absolutely perfect. And um, it's so easy to read. Like it's just amazing. So. Um, so, you know, this is one that I will do when it comes up in a penny pick, I'll do it. Um, and, uh, and I'll report back to you on what it was like to work on, but I expect that it's going to be just fine. And I'm just now paying attention. And these are square drills, which is interesting. Uh, it's interesting because usually... Usually there's squares around the symbols on a square canvas, I think. I'm s I just got up, you guys, so I'm, I'm still out of it. Oh, and I haven't had any of my coffee yet, so I need a sip of coffee. Okay. Um, yeah, usually I think that the square drills are like there's a grid marked on the canvas. Um, I know that pretty much every square drill diamond painting I've ever done has had that. Anyway, this will be interesting. It'll be important to keep my lines straight. Uh, so for that, I think I'll be using a multiplacer, a big one, to the extent that I can. Although, there's not really any color blocking on this. Very little color blocking. Um, because it's got sort of that old paint look to it. Um, like faded paint look to it. So, um, yeah, this one is going to be labor intensive to work on. Yeah, we just got out of bed a little while ago and Pippi is all excited looking at the neighborhood at the window and, you know, whenever she sees a dog go by or a truck or a, a skateboard, oh my goodness, the skateboards, she goes crazy over skateboards. Um... Yeah, so I think this one will be good. It's gonna, I think it's gonna look really nice. Um, just, just from the, the, oh yeah, okay, I'm looking at it through the camera for the first time. Yeah, it's gonna look nice. The, the printing is extremely legible. You know what? I don't even know if you guys could see the whole painting before. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm, I'm, really out of it this morning um oh look at that yeah it looks good I'm happy with it I'm happy with it yeah I must say so far this whole opening a mystery diamond painting is is working for me all right I'm gonna pause for a second and put you back in the cradle and we're gonna measure it to make sure that it's 40 by 50. And then I think we're done with this one. Okay, now it's time to measure.
So it's 35 centimeters across and it's 44 centimeters high. So yeah, I like this one. Okay, so um, I don't remember whether I've actually put this one in the, penny, in the quarter pick jar. Um, I think I was gonna wait until I open them to see whether I like them or not. Uh, but this one will go in the jar. And this is one that when it comes up, I'll do it. And I will report back to you on what it's like. Okay, so that's it for the serenity prayer. You'll see that again when it comes time to um, do the post-completion review. Now we're moving on to number 591. And for this one, I'm going to have to clear my table because this is a very, very large one. And this one is one that I personally would never have ordered. Um, it's not a subject that I'm particularly fond of. Uh, and anyway, I'll tell you more about it when we open it up. There we go. And you see what I mean about it's big. It's really big. I have to move around the other side of the table here to completely unroll it. Mm. Mm. Maybe it'll fit across my table. Just a sec. I gotta move my coffee cup because I don't want my coffee cup to fall off the table. Alright. Yeah, it'll just It'll just fit. Okay. Okay, so let's take a look. I'll show you the whole thing in a second. I'll show you the whole thing in a second. For now, I just want to show you the two kits that come with it. So they're just very standard kits. Everything you need, nothing you don't. Okay. Ooh, and something I love is that the drills are pre ziplocked so I love it when I get weighed drills because that means I don't have to do any kidding up. All I have to do is draw the symbol on the label here. Whoops, on the label here. And, uh, and then I work straight out of the bags. Sometimes I put um, a little bit of cardboard in there so that the bags stand up straight. Uh, but other than that, that's all I do. So this is Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse and uh, goofy and like all of that group of characters I I've never liked them even as a child I never liked Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse and Goofy um, they're my least favorite of all of the Disney characters and I gotta say um, so a couple of days ago I unboxed Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs for uh, Donna Stevens, one of my patrons. And um, I was surprised because it was such an amazing rendering of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. It was a square drill diamond painting, I think. Um, but it was just, it. I was blown away with how good it looked. And again, I'm... That's, well, I like Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, but it was not something that I would ever have bought for myself. Um, but I'm glad because Donna loves it, and and it was a great diamond painting for her. Um, this has not rendered with anywhere near the same uh, fineness, the, the same detail. Um, this is really pixelated, which is a real shame because I think they could have done better. Maybe. I don't know. And I don't know if it's because the image that they were working with maybe wasn't as, um, detailed. Like maybe it wasn't a high enough resolution image, but after seeing Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, I thought, okay, when I unbox, like when I do the Mickey Mouse one, because when I 
was looking to identify it. I just unrolled it enough to know what it was that I was looking for. Uh, and then I went looking on the website for it, on the two websites for it. So I never unrolled the whole thing. Um, so it's like, oh, it's a Mickey Mouse and there's snow and it's like that sort of purple in the in that corner. So that's what I'm looking for. And I did a search um, for this image and I found it on both websites. But I'm not excited about the way this turned out. Um, so I do not think I'm going to do this one when it comes up at a penny pick, which is too bad because it's got 35 colors. This one here, I mean, it's got 35 colors, which is a lot for these diamond paintings that come from these stores. Um, but yeah, the, the image quality is not great. So let's take a look at the legend. Which legend am I going to show you? I think I'll show you uh, the one closest to my coffee cup. And I know I haven't shown you the whole picture properly yet, so I will be doing that in a moment. Um, okay, so... Oh, let me blow it up a little bit. Okay. So, I mean, the symbols look to be very clear. Nothing that I'm going to find confusing. I'm trying to remember what company that I work with uses these same symbols. Uh, I can't remember offhand. But I've seen these symbols in many, many, many of my other diamond paintings. And I mean, when you look at the canvas, look how clear that is. Even like these little, I don't know, flowers, whether you call them flowers or it's not really an asterisk. Um, but look how clear it's got six. Uh, yeah, it's got six petals to it. And those petals are perfectly clear. There's no muddiness or anything like that. Those the little three dots. Um, it, this is an impeccable canvas. So it would actually be a joy to drill. And it's got a nice mix of um, color blocking as well as confetti. Although there's a lot of color blocking. And again, that's because these are cartoon images and every single slide of a Disney film, you know, before computer animation and in fact, all cartoons, was colored by hand. So 24 frames per second, every single slide was hand painted. Um, and so when you're talking about a 90 minute movie, that's a lot of slides that have to be painted. So they would, um, they would simplify to the extent possible the coloring. So, you know, there wasn't necessarily as much fine gradation of color uh, as you might find in a painting or something like that. But still, it was pretty good. Uh, those movies have pretty much st stood the test of time. Um, and I know this because my ex-husband is an animator. And, uh, and so he, he started... Uh, back in the days before computer animation. He was never a cell colorist, uh, which is the, the people who are a cell painter, uh, which is the people who paint the cells. Uh, but uh, he knew them well. So, um, and he knew the amount of work that they had to do. So, um, yeah, no, the, the canvas is beautiful. It's just beautiful. But, like, for those of you who, who can remember what Snow White looked like. And you know what? I've got the Snow White canvas out because it's going to be ironed. So I'm going to go get it and we're going to do a, co a comparison. I think you've got a sense of what the, the canvas looks like. I don't need to show you every bit of the canvas. Uh, although I will pull back just a sec. I will pull back to show you the entire diamond painting. 
it is big it is big and I again I'm being blinded by the Sun so I can't see what you can see through the camera um, it actually looks pretty good through the camera I think like I'm still being somewhat blinded um, yeah I think it looks pretty good through the camera but up close it doesn't look good let me stand let me stand and take a look at it just with my eyes looks better from a distance but nowhere near as good as Snow White I'm gonna go get Snow White okay so I'm just gonna put her here so that you can see like look at the detail in each of the dwarfs and Snow White compared to Mickey um, now as it turns out like if we put one of the dwarfs faces close to Mickey uh, Mickey's face is way smaller like his head is way smaller than the dwarfs heads and so maybe that's why there's so much more detail to um, to the dwarfs but you see how beautiful the dwarfs and Snow White look they're I mean it's just exquisite the turtle on its back the squirrel over here I'm touching my side of the camera you can't see what I'm touching um, you know the bluebird up in the corner here you can see all of those you know the little tiny bird there you can see all of those things whereas here it's so pixelated and I think if they had focused a little bit more on making Mickey maybe this big whoops you can't see what I'm doing sorry if they had focused a little bit more and let's say brought Mickey's head up to about here so that he was that much taller you would have the detail that you would need you would miss you know that snowflakes across the top but you would get the detail on him that you would need uh, because for me oh, this just really doesn't work oh and I see what they're doing they're taking him from the very oldest movies and they're moving forward in time to the more recent movies I don't think I've ever seen any one of these movies because like I say I don't like Mickey Mouse oh and Mickey is drying himself that's something else I never noticed before he's got pens because I'm looking at this for the first time today um, I, I didn't really examine the image because it wasn't like I had to choose whether to buy it it was here um, but oh I see each Mickey is drawing the next Mickey that's kind of cool that's kind of cool and I can see why somebody who you know is, is a lover of Mickey Mouse would really really enjoy this um, sadly I find it too pixelated for my taste looks okay from this distance like I'm probably about I don't know three and a half four feet up and okay I'm gonna move across the room I'm gonna leave the camera here but I'm gonna move across the room and I'm going to look at it. I'm far, far away. That well, actually looks pretty good from far, far away. Yeah, from far away, it looks good. Um, so if you like it, there you go. Uh, but this is not one that I'm going to be working on. Where did I take you out of the holder? I have to measure this diamond painting. So this is advertised as 100 by, 100 by 50. 100 by 50. I suspect that it's more like 94 by 44 but we will we will know that momentarily it's 93 by 44 I got one there. Okay, so uh, that's it for looking at the canvas in detail. Let's now take a look at the drills in detail. And um, because... Clippy. 
All right, now because these drills are, whoops, oh, the bag of white drills is open. Um, so I'm gonna have to just clean up some of these drills, just a sec. Luckily, there weren't a lot that spilled out, but there are some loose ones in the big bag. So, is that it? I think that's it. If we find any more, I know where they belong. Okay. Um, so, here's my hope. My hope is that... Um, oh, and that label is coming off, so I better tape it down. I'll just bring the tape over in case I need it for anything else. All right. So I just I just use clear tape on there, and that'll stick it down properly. Okay. Usually they use um, permanent tape, like not semi-permanent tape that you can pick up and move off. Uh, but I don't know why that wasn't properly stuck on there. Anyway, I hope that there are enough of these. These are 3865s. If there aren't, I will have plenty of 3865s in my stash. So uh, I'll be able to um, finish this if, you know, if the bag being opened uh, meant drills were lost. But like I say, there's nothing left in the outer bag. So I'm not too worried about that at all, at all, at all, at all. Okay. So let's take a look at this, and I will just quickly remind you about two little series. Uh, so there is the Ugly Diamond Painting series. Ooh, look at that. There's a tiny baby drill. Um, so when I see one tiny baby drill, that makes me think I might have drills of different sizes. There might be some that uh, I have to be careful of, because if there's one tiny baby drill, there will be other little drills that um, that they might look almost the same size, but they're not quite the same size because they're sort of just bits of plastic. So, so that'll be something that I'm uh, that I'll be looking out for if I ever do this diamond painting. I don't know. I'll put it in the jar, and we'll see whether I decide I want to work on it or not. Um, like I'll put the coin for it in the jar. Um, so. One of my pros, programs that I'm, a uh, series that I'm doing now is the Ugly Diamond Painting series. And so what that is, is in my unboxing videos, um, usually while I'm doing a drill review, I will flash up pictures of ugly diamond paintings that people sent me links to. So um, I'm going to flash up the information for where you can send links if you find an ugly diamond painting while you're, you know, browsing some website. Uh, you can send the link to that ugly diamond painting to me at ramblingrosedp at gmail.com. Put ugly diamond painting in the subject line and the link in the email. It has to be a link. Or if you're going to take a picture, like if you're going to, like if it's going to be a picture, it has to be a picture of your own work um, that turned out ugly. Uh, or if you, you know, if you don't know how to attach a link, and I know a lot of you don't, um, you take a screenshot, you have to make sure that I can see that it's actually a screenshot of a diamond painting website. Uh, because there are lots and lots of ugly images online. I'm only interested in ones that somebody is selling as a diamond painting. And um, I'm starting to put the name of, just the first name, of the person who sends it to me in, in, um, at the bottom of, of the screen while the picture is on the, uh, on the screen. And so if you don't want me to use even your first name, let me know. All right. If, if you send it from an email account that's like, you know, Wonderboy24, um, I'll just say Wonderboy. Um, unless you tell me I don't want you to say Wonderboy or Wonder Girl or whatever. Um, so, yeah, so that's one of the uh, series that I'm doing. And the other one is uh, what I call Rose Tries. And for those of you who watch my channel, you know what that's all about. And that's where... 
I actually order a diamond painting from one of the six companies that's listed at the bottom of your screen right now. When you have been on the website for one of those companies, you see an image, a link for an image that you would love to do as a diamond painting, but something about the listing has you thinking, mm, not sure if I want that. And it could be because the diamond painting, like the canvas size seems to be too small to render the image well. Um, like for Snow White, we weren't sure. Donna wasn't sure whether, you know, it would render well in the size that it was offered in with so many characters in it. Um, it could be because sometimes uh, we've come across, many of us have come across listings on some of these stores, and there's no information whatsoever about the diamond painting. It doesn't tell you whether it's round or square. It doesn't tell you the canvas size. So you're looking at the image and you think, I love that image, but it wouldn't look good in a 30 by 40. Or, you know, I would want it in square. Or I don't want to do a square diamond painting. I would only buy it if it's round. So, um, so for any reason like that, so you're not sure if it's going to render well. It doesn't have the information that you need to decide whether you want to do it or not. Um, you can send me the link and I uh, will let you know whether it's something that I will order and try for you. So the way that works is I would order the diamond painting and uh, I would do a full review of the diamond painting just like I'm doing for this one. And so you would have a sense then of exactly what it is that you would get if you were to order it. And then all I ask after that is that you let me know after you see the video, whether you're going to buy that diamond painting or not. And um, so there you go. Oh, I like this. This is a beautiful color, 917. And there is a ton of it. So I'm thinking I might do this diamond painting just because I really like a lot of the colors in it. Like they have these beautiful, beautiful purples and the blues and what's this? That's 902. That's another color I really like. That must be 550. Ooh, 792, 820. Uh, yeah, there are some beautiful, beautiful colors in here. And I saw 3756 earlier. So, you know what? I am uh, thinking I will do this one if it comes up in a penny pick. Just simply because I like the colors. I don't love the subject. I do like the colors. And I would love working with these colors. So, yeah, why not? For me, it's all about just doing the drilling um, because, as many of you know, I have not yet hung a single one of my own diamond paintings. But, but, I'm taking another sip of coffee here and um, I'm just going to tell you another little story. So, many of you send me emails uh, and I love getting your emails. Um, it's starting to take a lot of my day <laughs> to answer YouTube comments and emails, but I'm not going to ask you to stop because I love it. Uh, and I love getting back to you and I love having an actual relationship with my viewers, you know, through email or comments. So one of my viewers, um, Paula, has uh, been sending me, like we've been writing back and forth the last couple of days, I think. Because she, um, she wanted me to do some framing or mounting videos, or at least one anyway, demonstrating the, um, the way that she mounts her mandalas, like her special shaped drill mandalas. And at first I didn't know what, you know, exactly what she was talking about. So she sent me a picture and oh my God, you guys, I just about lost my breath the framing or, well it's not framing it's mounting that she does is so incredibly beautiful i'm not going to show it here because i'm going to do a video dedicated to the entire process of getting from just a mandala diamond painting that you finished to a mounted mandala um uh, series uh, like the ones that Paula does and 
Oh my God, it is so incredibly beautiful. Anyway, I'm so looking forward to doing that. I'm gonna do the start to finish on how to do it. Like I'll probably fast forward through a lot of it, but, um, but I believe that her technique is just, it just blew me away. And so, um, so I wanna share it with all of you as she requested that I do. So if you guys have ideas or if you've done something that's really, really interesting, whether you want me to make a video about it or not, um, that's fine. I mean, if you just have something that you've uh, done and you think it's unusual, but you know, th that other people would really enjoy it, um, you can send me a picture and I'll feature it in one of my videos. And if you ask me to make a video about it and it's something that I think I can replicate because I'm a little ham-handed, everybody. I'm not, you know, the most... I'm not a crafty person. Um, this is my first ever craft. Uh, and so I'm coming from behind in terms of knowing techniques and stuff like that. But I am an assiduous learner. And so I'm happy to try stuff. Um, you know, if you start getting into things that I'm going to need like a saw or anything for, mm, likely not. But, uh, but yeah, I'm happy to try stuff that's, especially if it's with stuff that I can easily order or that I would have around the house. Sure. Um, so yeah, so I'd, I'd love to, I'd love to make this a channel where not only do you see what I like, but I know a lot of you are way better at so much of what you see on my channel than I am. Um, like, I'm not an expert <laughs> on almost anything, um, but I am interested in almost everything. And so uh, I love to learn from experts. And so if you have something that you would like to share as an expert, but you don't want to be making YouTube videos about it, or you don't want to, you know, you know, whatever, um, share it with me. Like, if you want me to share it for you, I mean, you'll have the benefit of having the reach of my audience, um, I, I would love that. I would love to be able to showcase um, stuff that you do. So, I mean, I haven't actually received anything apart from what Paula sent me, and that is something that I, I do believe that I can replicate, maybe not with the skill and competence that, uh, that Paula has, but, you know, I can, I can try it. And... Um, and you guys can, uh, can, can at least see what she has accomplished because I'll include her picture. Uh, and yeah, if you guys want to send me stuff, you can send it to me at ramblingrosedp. And I haven't thought of a name for this series since I literally just dreamed it up while I was shooting this video. So this is a mural. It's uh, not a mural. It's a wall hanging. And I opened another one of Daisy's recently, and I fell in love with it. And I had every plan to order more. But whoever the mystery uh, sender was, um, sent me one. And it's actually one that I would be happy to do. So let's take a look at this. This is number 590... 592. And this one has a black cord and tassel and it comes with oh, a whole whack of bags as well as the uh, pink wax and the boat and everything else and it comes with the um, frame that you mount it in as well as a piece of plexiglass and there is this very very thick uh, it's not foam core it's it's uh, like a hard thing um, as a, to use as a backing. And here are the crystal drills, and there are some special shapes in there too. And now the sun is shining in the side of my eye and I, I am completely blinded. Um, and then here is the mandala. And so the idea is you, you diamond paint all of this, then you cut around the edge, and then you insert it in, like on the back here, 
you lay this this has a protective coating on it which I'm not going to pull back but there's a protective coating on both sides which is why this looks a little bit cloudy as I lay it down here it will look like clear glass when I remove that protective coating from the plexiglass and then you would lay this hoop over top of it um, and of course I can't do it because I haven't cut the edges off of the mandala and then uh, in here oh my goodness okay so I'm super impressed with this the last one I opened I think it had a gold tassel and um, it was a white frame a white plastic frame this is a black plastic frame of course the one with the white plastic frame the daisies had just silver um, I don't know what they're called O hooks whatever um, and this because it's a black plastic frame has black hook uh, like the screws that you screw in and so you would attach the um, whoops I don't want to this comes nicely wrapped with a plastic cover over the tassel so that it doesn't get tangled up and so I don't want to get it tangled up or messed up before I start working on it uh, but you would put the the tassel through one of these and then you would put the hanging hook through the other and um, and then you would hang this beautiful thing and they really are beautiful now if you choose not to you know put the tassels on it maybe you're not some maybe you're somebody who doesn't like the tassels and all that stuff you can you can just hang it on a hook or something like that um, but it it will be absolutely beautiful I know that that it's gonna be absolutely beautiful and let us take a look at the drills for this now And I'll measure it for you so that you have uh, the dimensions, so that you know exactly how big this would be. Um, I love this because it's everything you need to frame a diamond painting comes right with this. And actually, one of the stores that I'm working with, I believe it's FG Normal, uh, have just come out with a series of diamond paintings that come with frames. And uh, Reese, my contact there, uh, asked me, you know, would you like to try these? And I said, yes, you can send me as many of those as you like. And I would love to show my viewers uh, because you pay a little bit extra, but you get a frame with your diamond painting. And, um, and so you don't have to fuss about, you know, getting custom sized frames and stuff like that. So let's take a look at these drills. And again, I am blinded by the light here, so I'm going to turn on the flash on my camera. I can't even see my camera well enough to tell if I'm touching the flash. Yeah, okay, the flash is on. Um, okay, I have to put a baseball cap on to keep the sun out of my eyes. Just a second. Oh, that's better. I never knew why people used baseball caps. Now I do. I've, I wore my first baseball cap probably about three years ago. I'm 58 years old, you guys. Um, first baseball cap ever, like two or three years ago. Okay. Um, so those are just the crystal drills. I still can't see them too well through the camera, but I can see them now thankfully because the baseball cap is cutting the sun out um, these colors are just beautiful this red this purple now I see that these purple drills do have some flaws to them there's scratches on some of the bottoms and little holes in the center of the silvering that those drills would have to be thrown away but there are plenty of spare drills here so I'm not worried about running out and then we have these deep sort of blue greenish type drills they're stunning oh I love these so these are marquee cut faceted drills and they have an iridescent coating on them so they're just beautiful they sparkle like diamonds 
And then we have the same cut, but these are sort of a light, a pale sort of wheat beer color. And uh, they don't have any kind of iridescent coating on them. So that's beautiful. They also sparkle, but they're less, um, it's less of a pronounced sparkle. Then we have a larger size uh, marquee cut um, crystal drill with the um, iridescent coating on it. And then we have these beautiful pearl uh, cabochons with the AB coating on them, iridescent, whatever you want to call it. Uh, they're lovely. Then we have two more bags of special drills. So now this is a third bag. Oh, um, oh, these are more of the same. So these are, I was going to say, they look like they're the same size, and they are. So these are also number five. And they're more of those small uh, seed-shaped marquee cut clear iridescent drills. And then we have uh, the number eight. There are a total of nine colors, um, nine different kinds of drills on this diamond painting. And number eight is these round, oh, and I'm not blown up. Okay. These uh, purple round faceted drills that have the iridescent coating on them. So just gorgeous. Um, this is going to be an absolutely beautiful, beautiful diamond painting. Um, so yeah, okay. So, um, so I'm trying to think of a name for that new series that I want to start where I try your method of doing something. And I don't know, I'm going to say it's Rose Tries My DIY. Maybe that's too big. I don't know. Um, if you can think of a name, put it down in the comments below. Because essentially, it's me trying to replicate your method of doing something with diamond painting that I have not done that you've not seen me do, do on my channel, that maybe that you think that maybe you're the only one who, who's done it. And I think that's, I think that would be super cool. And if it's something that you don't want to make a video about yourself, um, but you'd like somebody to, to make a video or even just show it on my channel if you don't want me to make a video about it. Because in some cases, I'm sure that it's like, I would never be able to replicate that. So I wouldn't make a video about it, but I would show people and say, this is what I know and, you know, direct them to whatever, your Instagram or, I don't do Facebook. So I, I'm, I'm not sure I want to be directing people to Facebook just because I don't do Facebook and I would want to check out Facebook or Instagram for whomever it is before I recommend it to somebody else. And so I won't be checking out Facebook pages. Um, so I don't know. I haven't really thought this through. But let me know if you'd like a series like that. Before I actually start a series like that, let me know if you'd like a series like that. Because if it's something that nobody would actually want to watch, then I won't, <laughs> I won't launch it. Okay, uh, so that's it. This is number 592. I don't remember what I call it. Mandala wall hanging number one. Actually, the daisies was number one, but I actually named that one daisies. So this is just generic mandala wall hanging number one. I told you I would measure it. And measure it, I will. Um, so from the outside edge of the frame to the other outside edge. It's nine and a half inches, which is exactly, well, just short of 24 centimeters. And from the inside edge of the frame, let's put it on the back of this so that you can see better from the, well, and let's put it upside down there. 
So it's 22 and a half inches. Let's see. It's 23 centimeters. 23 centimeters um, that will show and 24 centimeters from uh, outside edge to outside edge. So, um, I mean, that's going to fit pretty much anywhere. You'd be able to find a place for this in your home. Um, so I really like this. I, in fact, I got to say, these are such a great idea. And they're really quite reasonably priced, I think. That's my opinion, but I think they're quite reasonably priced um, for the items that you're seeing today. I know they're available in at least two stores, New Homey and FG Normal. They might be available in other stores, but I'm not going to check and try to find them in every other store that I work with um, because I still think that they came either from New Homey or FG Normal. Um, I'm thinking probably from New Homey um, because FG Normal told me categorically that they did not send it to me and New Homey didn't seem to know anything about the order having been sent to me either. I'm just going to go with New Homey because they didn't give me a categorical, no, it wasn't us. So maybe it was a different store. I don't know. But I do want to include links to these items in the description down below. And so I'm going to include links to these items in New Homey. If you're buying from New Homey, you can use Rambling Rose as a discount code, and that will give you 15% off uh, your purchase, which I think is a great discount. Uh, so there you go. Um, I hope that this has been uh, a good video for you. I mean, it's uh, it's, it's been it's been fun for me. Um, it's kind of like opening a Christmas present way, way, way early. And um, and I still don't know who my secret Santa is. <laughs> so I think I will never know who my secret Santa is. And if this was meant for another YouTuber out there and you happen to watch my video and you say, hey, that's the order that never came to me, <laughs> let me know. I would love to hear from you. <laughs> okay, everybody. Love you all. I think I've gone on long enough. This video is so long. Oh my goodness. Um, and uh, so I think we're done for today. And I will be back to you again tomorrow with another diamond painting video. Bye bye. And thank you to my secret Santa.